Should we crack on with this globe denying dipshit? I think so. <laughs> Careful what you ask for. Hello and welcome to the Dean Wright and the Ball Earth is Bullshit channel show. They're both my channels, so to all you people who subscribe on Ball Earth is Bullshit, go to the Dean Wright channel and subscribe to that as well. I've got more videos. That channel's been going for a lot longer than the Ball Earth is Bullshit channel. So go over to Dean Wright, subscribe onto that, and get a load more videos that I've done over the last five years. Okay, that's just a quick plug for both channels. All right, so I pulled it up. Ball Earth is bullshit. Uh, it's got 69 videos. Ha ha. And uh, no video has more than about 60 views. But he hides his subscriber count. Right. What a loser. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can make your uh, subscriber count hidden. Um, I forget how. But, I mean, really, when you clearly have less than 100, don't bother yet. And for a loser that called out Conspiracy Cats over a year ago and still only has fuck all views and fuck all subscribers, this guy is a dimwit. Oh, yeah. He, he probably used the fucking word Conspiracy Cats to try and get his views from 3 to 60. Because without the fucking word conspiracy cats, he'd have got three views. I mean, let's face it, it's fucking wank, like the rest of them. But yeah, you know, let's crack on, eh? Yeah, three views, him, <laughs> his wife, and his soccer account. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yay! <laughs> yeah, even his dog got up and left the room when he put that shit on. Yeah, his dog just shat on his lap. Oh, no, that was me, wasn't it? <laughs> I ain't done it yet. Trust me, I am going to fucking shit on his lap. <laughs> What's the name of his channel? He's got a target. Shall we? Yes, yes, let's fucking let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, um, I think uh we have a latecomer that needs to be introed here. PhD Tony joined us. Hello, how is everyone? <laughs> oh, hey, good, good. Hey. hey Tony. Oh hi Phil, how are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Excellent. Um, I didn't realise you were on the panel or I'd have been here. I was yeah. actually... Fucking open your ears, jackass. <laughs> oh, you <could> <laughs> now we go. You've been <laughs> sat in the fucking watching the show and you didn't even know who was fucking on. What is wrong and with well, you? You had to actually was... come on the panel to figure out who was on. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's me. I'm hopeless. It's uh, I've actually been trying to fix a, 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 an error I made in my video. So, uh, Clive Wells pointed out, I'm uh, out by a factor of two. Okay. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good video. It's uh, actually a very good explanation of um, thermodynamics and uh, and uh, entropy. And uh, But I, I doubt whether any flat earths will, will, will probably watch something like that. Or even if they did, uh, I doubt uh, they could live long enough to um, actually understand what it means. <laughs> <laughs> toxic toxic levels of scientific understanding that they're allergic to. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. like First, we should let this creepy motherfucking Malcolm McDowell looking shithead fucking mushroom brain continue, should we not? I fucking totally agree with that. Let's crack on with this fucking dickhead. Let's do All right. So, you not born shit my opening head. remarks. <laughs> I've been thinking about this and I want to keep it flat earth related because it's, you know, very easy to go on about other stuff, which I will do. Um, my idea on what's happening here is that the false reality yeah, that's been given to us, being in space, spinning, uh, gravity, uh, living on a ball, uh, all this nonsense, this false yeah. reality has taken a lot of work from the powers that be to get us locked in to this false reality and the yeah it's almost like the process of confirming that the earth is a globe and confirming that we can go up into space and explore it is a process that would take something like 2000 years <laughs> <laughs> 
No, like what he's describing, like he's 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 saying, oh, it would take so long to indoctrinate people into this. Alternatively, it would take a long time to figure all this shit out. So, in the world where the globe is the truth and the globe is the lie, he has the exact same narrative. Like he he doesn't need to change his argument because it works either way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's a null. The 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 idea that everything you know, it's it's my main problem, and I'll try and keep this brief. Um, is that you know basically this hypothesis has zero provative power. We only reach this conclusion because that's what reality tells us the conclusion is. It's not because somebody tells us; it's because that's what reality tells us. Right. Um, simply put, being right. Nope, Dean fucking wrong. It, yes. <laughs> at, at, at some stage, uh, humans are given um, a gift of just ordinary common sense and deduction abilities. So uh, it seems that some people just miss out on that gift. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a gift. I mean, it, you know, I mean, mo most of us can work out fucking the simple basics of where we fucking live. I mean, we're standing on a planet and we've worked out years ago. I mean, thousands of years ago, for fuck's sake. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, um, oh, oh, don't get me started. Should we just get on before I lose my fucking rag? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of guy where he's sitting out on his balcony and all of a sudden he runs inside and hides because the UFOs are coming for him. But <laughs> if you just looked over the balcony, you would have seen two kids playing with a fucking Frisbee, right? You know <laughs> yep. what, Ryan? Yeah. This, this geezer's mother should have just fucking swallowed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What I love about the powers that be argument is it's really flat earthers hiding the shape of the earth from flat earthers. <laughs> oh yeah well yeah they are i mean <laughs> because i mean who is who, who is who is the powers that be in their world is it you know the greeks who figured out the first bits no, is it the muslims who figured YouTube out some steps the powers that be in their well, fucking world kevin come on you is it the muslims who figured out a few steps after that is it the space agencies who came after that is it the governments who came before that like it's all this mishma mishmash of people from everywhere and every when and doesn't create a coherent they no, I know, but we all know that NASA has been around since fucking Jesus. <laughs> yes, right. That's right. They've had Photoshop that long. Perpetuating too. the fucking globe lie forever. And um, well, they're fucking Photoshop. woke, these dumb fucks. The first version of Photoshop is actually called Chisel Shop because it was meant for stone carvers, right? That's right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just just like the Flintstones cameras, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These fucking idiots. Idiots, cretinous fucking fucktards. Should we move on? Well, or has anyone else yeah. got any any other bollocks to fucking throw in throw into this no. mix? I mean I'm pushing it. Let's go. Yeah, it's let's the key go. Let's fucking go. that opens the door to the true reality. Because once the flat earth truth becomes common knowledge, and it was before Copernicus came out with his heliocentric theory oh, in the 1500s. No, it wasn't. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean, what the, he's, he's absolutely fucking deluded, this idiot. I mean, uh, yeah, it's common knowledge. It's going to. No, it isn't, mate. You're fucked in the head. You haven't got a clue what you're talking about. God knows why the fuck you think we live on a pizza shaped fucking pizza shit planet. We don't. It's fucking round. It's really, really easy. Really easy. I mean, honestly, a fucking child can see because I saw the curvature as a fucking child when I was 14. What is wrong with you? Get a fucking grip. I mean, we are literally watching a man ladies and gentlemen in his 50s making a youtube video about the earth being flat i mean what the fuck is going on so um so you 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 normally uh you know even people who are highly experienced are are um are careful about you know what they say and uh, and and thoughtful and here you have somebody who just has no qualms about coming on, you know, and telling the whole world with such conviction 
you know, how stupid he is. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Ima- imagine. It's stupid. I mean, stu- stupid's a fucking compliment to this geezer, isn't it? Imagine running into this guy in a shopping mall and you just start pointing at him and laughing. That's that fucking flat earth idiot. Ha ha ha. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, he's just going to go meet up with fucking Nathan Roberts, rip up, rip up some books and then fuck off to a school with Thompson and be weird as fuck. But I don't even like calling him Flurf. Flurf's like a pet pet name, isn't it? You know, like, oh, come here, you little Flurf. No, you're a globe denying, backward thinking, cretinous, imbecilic twat. That's what they are. Do you, do you think that there's any... I'm trying to get this to take off and it's just not biting. It's not getting any traction whatsoever. I kind of think that we need names for the flurfs that are kind of like Smurf names. So Dion Smo, I think of as toilet, toilet flurf because he's always <laughs> seated on the bog in the bathroom talking to his camera when he's on... <laughs> Actually, we had a video yesterday where he was seated in the bath, which is an image that I'll not soon forget. Um, but, uh, you know, I kind of think that they deserve, you know, um, uh, uh, Nathan Nathan Thompson could be smelly flurf. Um, you know, I think there's potential here. <laughs> Nathan Oakley could be child-beating, child-abusing, wanker flurf. Smurf whatever. or plainly put, slappy Smurf. Yeah, slappy Smurf, sl- slappy <laughs> Flurf, slappy Flurf. There's no, no Papa Smurf did not slap the anybody. Clown flurf. Yeah, ugly German truth says uh, this boring geezer could be clueless fl- Flurf. I don't think that that's actually a unique identifier. I think all of them are clueless Flurfs. So we need something. Uh, we need something. Uh, He's uh, he's kind of oh, what's he lurch lurch fluff? That's who he looks like. He looks like lurch. Damn it! He beat me to it. I was just gonna call him lurch. Mm. You right. All right. Should Jump. we let uh should we, should we let lurch go on a little more? Derp, derp, derp. And he never wanted it published because he was never sure about it. It was only when he died did they decide to send it out to the pulpits, to the churches, and start preaching a a false heliocentric model. That's how, that's how it started. And so, because it's unraveling, because the the flat earth is starting to take traction, they needed to come out with something that was going to completely take our minds away from this false reality. And COVID just happened to be the perfect vehicle to halt all this, to bring in all these draconian measures, to stop us, to stop free speech. Pause. To- there, wow, someone is uh, starting up the warp drive. Um, there's. Um, Do you think it's his car? <laughs> I, I actually, I forgot what I was saying. I can't focus. Um, is that you, sarcastic barman, who's just joined us? I'm like watching this and going, what the fuck have I walked into? Why is this nutter going on about pulpits and shit like that? We've known about the earth being round for a fucking thousand years. What the fuck have you lot done to me? Why have I come from a meeting about being locked down to nut jobs with two brain cells? Welcome to the shills, baby. But now that I do remember why I called pause, it took me a moment. I was very distracted yeah. by the jet airliner. Um but why I called pause was, no, there are no draconian rules being put in place. There is no rule that has come from COVID that you can call draconian uh, because draco- th- that would imply that it's over the top. It's overbearing. It's reaching much further than it needs to reach. Uh, COVID rules aren't doing that. Also, literally no part of it, not a single part of the pandemic has limited your freedom of speech in any way whatsoever. That is a complete lie. Do you know what? I right? could be draconian. I could be <laughs> draconian, but I'd still have to bum rides off people. Well, I'm very fucking proud of you. <laughs> I tell you something, right? I am hearing like right? when I'm at work, I am hearing more and more fucking idiots like starting to just jump on the old conspiracy theory bandwagon, whatever it fucking is. And I'm like, oh, get a grip for fuck's sake. I'm surrounded by it. 
It's getting worse, mate. Honestly, I actually think that the whole world must be out to fucking get me because everybody is just jumping down some fucking stupid rabbit hole like our DNA is being edited or our fucking, I don't know, <laughs> what's the shape of the planet? I ain't even going to go there. I've done that one already. And uh, I've uh, just had to fucking flush my fucking head down the toilet thinking about that. I still don't get it. Someone please tell me this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the world we live in. Uh, Mike Burleson, what's going on? Well, I don't know about the UK, but in the United States, the US Supreme Court has actually ruled that uh, mandates and measures taken in the time of medical crisis are legal and does not violate the Constitution. So all of you COVIDiots out there, keep that in mind. So I know it's a big thing with them. It's all, it's all unconstitutional. Making me wear a mask is unconstitutional. So I guess making you wear pants when you go into a short store is also unconstitutional. Right. That's, that's the part I can't figure out is I can't figure out a, how a mask is unconstitutional because there is no uh, right to not wear a mask. Yeah. Um, and I also don't understand how wearing a mask is uh, is communist. A lot of people, a lot of uh, Americans have been making that claim that, oh, this is something a communist country would do. Yeah, because there's that line in the communist Fet manifesto, all the proletariats must wear a mask. Yeah. And, and, and the interesting part about the court case the Supreme Court upheld, by the way, is it was for mandatory vaccines. So... Uh. That's something that all those freaking anti-vaxxers need to also keep right. in mind. And that law has stood and has actually been cited and was the foundation for a very recent COVID-19 decision uh, by the Texas State Supreme Court. So that thing is still in force and still in use. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sarcastic Barman, what's on your mind? To build on what Monkey was saying, the number of the general public at the moment seems to be growing in their level of stupidity. Because I've had some tonight in the pub and they were asking me while we're having a fag and they're going, well, what's your thought on it? I mean, how many people have died from heart disease this year and things like that? So, well, <coughs> almost 50,000 people in England have died from COVID. 285 just yesterday. Yes. So I it's only about 150 below what dies of heart disease every day in the UK. And this is with all the fucking restrictions. I think this is what people forget to take into account. We've got all these restrictions, face masks, social distancing, wash your hands, pushing all this stuff. We're still getting death numbers that if you actually looked at them like that, you go, that's a lot of fucking people. But no, it interferes with your right to come and have a beer and you've got to be, oh, it's interfering with my right to make a livelihood. But I still understand that these things have got to be there because otherwise most of my regulars would be there going, well, un unfortunately, my grandparents have died this week or my parents have died this week or my son with asthma. My wife has asthma and I, I worry about her getting COVID because of my do. life, it wouldn't look good. Of course you do. Fuck, man. Um, yeah, it, it pisses me off. I mean, Harry, the, the, uh, I've literally fucking... I mean, you know, when I'm cutting hair all day fucking long, I don't often speak to globe deniers. In fact, I luckily haven't met one because if I do, I'll fucking shave his hair off and throw him out the shop. But, um, you know, I'm starting to get people coming in, din you know, just uh, your average Joe... And they're like fucking denying that it's out there. And I'm like, and, and I get that pisses me right off because, like, you know, some of you guys that are close to me know I lost my grandmother to fucking COVID 19. And it's not fucking funny. You know, she was showing symptoms in three days and was gone, um, along with four others in her nursing home. So, you know, it's not a fucking joke. And. And 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 on all these all these fucking stupid conspiracies, there's so many of them. But then people are just so confused, scared, and they don't know what to fucking believe. Just get a grip, take a deep breath, and critically think about it. That's the word, critically thinking. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. basically, that's all you can do. You know, I mean, when do you know half the shit I hear? I just think for a moment and then I say, well, how come that then? And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, like someone said to me, yeah, they're getting us to stand two meters apart so they can catch us on camera. And I went, so why are they making us wear fucking masks? 
know yeah. what I mean? I mean, Wanna think get... about what you're saying, mate. You know, they, we've got masks on now. I mean, I don't even recognise people. This is true. I've had a couple of people walk up to me in the street and go, all right, mate, and I'm like, and they've had to pull their mask on. I'm like, oh, all right, I didn't recognise you with a fucking mask on. Dickhead, <laughs> now fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and cop. Yeah. Okay, so just to follow on from what Mike was saying earlier, that uh, a lot of them are saying, oh, this is what communist countries do with not wearing a mask. Well, Clapperjack, our friend over in Belarus, <laughs> Lukashenko originally turned around and said that COVID doesn't fucking exist. And he didn't tell anybody to wear a bloody mask. And they're going through serious shit over there anyway, in both directions. And uh, if anybody didn't catch my tweet at, that went out today... Uh, Jack informed me about something. The kids in the street are now playing Omon versus protesters, where they're actually running around with sticks and boards, pretending to be you know, the actual police. Right? So wow. just take that in mind, though. It's really getting fucked up over there. So yeah. wear a mask. Let's just get life back to normal in the near future. Yeah, and and don't compare your exponentially free country to communist countries where horrible shit is happening every day. Uh, it's just plain unfair. Um, Amy, looks like we're down a couple uh, super chats. Uh, yes, please. We have a couple super chats, please. <laughs> Are done for five euro set. A COVID idiot's face should be unconstitutional. In other <laughs> words, they should something that covers that face that's right <laughs> good job thank you <laughs> morton nielsen for 100 danish krona said even though wearing a mask is annoying a f f i still do it because i'm not team killing idiot wear <laughs> that damn mask that's right <laughs> you, that. you have nothing to apologize for mate love you thank you <laughs> but you keep saying super chats it you keep, yes, thank you. You keep, you, you keep sending super chats. You're fake. You're not real. No, no, no. Thank you very Matt, much. Matt, stop saying fake. Stop That's saying right. fake. Start saying real. There you go. <laughs> but I, I will say, like, as Monkey brought up uh, not being able to recognize people at first with their mask on, something I've learned since wearing a mask everywhere is uh, I didn't realize this before, but apparently I do a lot of my hearing by reading lips. Uh, because since having to wear a mask everywhere, I'm constantly needing to lead in to get people to repeat things. And I think it's because I can't see their mouths move anymore. Same. It, interesting. I'm not sure if that's a thing or not, but like it just it just feels that way that I I, I didn't feel like I was such an old man who have to who would have to lean in and go I'm sorry what was that when I'm you know um, a foot away from a person. I, I Do you know what? Fully, I totally oh. agree with you there, mate. I totally agree with you there. When I'm cutting someone's hair, we have to keep the mask on and we have to clip it behind their ear, uh, behind the neck when we go around their ears and that. And they're talking to me, and I know normally I'm like looking in the mirror when I'm talking to them, and I'm like I'm going what what um. <laughs> and I think it's the same. Not only is it fucking muffled, but I'm pissed. And um, yeah, <laughs> I can't fucking see anyway. So to put a mask over something, like already, I'm already seeing double. <laughs> and I'm cutting their hair. So yeah, it, it makes it really difficult. I mean, I already didn't understand anyway. Now I ain't got a fucking clue. They come and say, <laughs> can I have a skin fade? I just go, um, give us a moment, whack down a vodka, shave their fucking head. <laughs> no, I, I'd agree as well because I notice it in the pub when you got people who are trying to order and things like that, and they've got the masks. Yeah, and it's they're not actually quieter. You can hear them the same, but it, it shows how much you rely on being able to see what they're saying as well. Right. Um, but even in pubs when it was loud, how much you rely on, oh, yeah, I can see your mouth moving. Yeah, that looks like two pints of lager. There you go. Well, I didn't order oh, yeah, that. That's... Oh, shit, I'll probably have it now. <laughs> That, that's a great example, actually, because I figure half the time you just hear the intonations and you read the lips and go, oh, they must yep. have said this. Yep. And now you can't do that anymore. So, yeah, uh, just bear in mind that uh, even those who approve of mandatory masks, we're absolutely annoyed by them. We just recognize it as a necessity. Yes. Well, fuck, Agreed. say something then, someone. Come on, Kevin, you're supposed to be the host, man. Look, I've just been looking at your head in that Well, garden. see, no see, Judd, see, Judd, in, in order, in order for that to happen, you need to shut the fuck up for half a second. 
really? You want to take on the fucking monkey? You play the video. Idea, Stop. Play the Put video. material out on social media. It's been, you know, because they're taking it down. And bring down lockdown measures on the populace to get us frightened, to stop us getting together, to stop us talking about it, to stop us spreading the truth. <laughs> and I've written down here, wait, 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 wait. this whole shit show is designed to keep our attention on what's happening within our false reality. Huh? We stop Get thick. So, so wait, so I get it now. So the plan is, uh, even though the internet has been a thing for the last 30 years, uh, the plan is to get everyone together where the only thing they have access to is the internet so that they can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. Holy life. shit. That just that falls apart on its face. Colon, what's going on? Well, it's just this bloody thing about the okay, he's a flatard. And then he suddenly turns around and goes, COVID idiot. And then to, it's just mind numbingly stupid. And then to turn around and say that. Co no, they, they've planned COVID so that they can release flat Earth on everybody. Really? What the hell some, are you going on about? Some dumb Sorry. fuck had to say it though, didn't they? I mean, someone had to connect. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. It will be tied into so they could hide the shape of the Earth. Don't be stupid. Why would they hide the shape of the Earth? You can see it for yourself. How mm -hmm. can you hide something? It'd be like saying, I'm going to hide the floor from you. How the fuck can you hide the floor? I'm standing oh. on the fucking thing. Same with the planet. Yeah. It's round. It's easy. Yeah, and if anybody hasn't known yet, Kei Shimawari, who's one of these bloody COVID idiots, and a flat earther, right, oh. is probably one of the Dean Wright's mates, right, in the, you know, somewhere down the line, has been to the same bloody meeting, oh. says it. Okay. Um, her son was on the BBC mm -hmm. telling everybody how stupid he feels that Kei Shimawari is his brother. Oh, man, you have to be really, really feeling bad for yourself when you have to go on national media and say, I am per no, absolutely distraught that Kay is my It was a great interview. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it, Barman? I did clip it for you, by the way, so I'll be sending you all the little clips. Oh, thank you. <laughs> also, Ardwin makes a good point when he said uh, most people making the current COVID policies haven't ever heard of Flat Earthers before. Flat Earthers don't realize that, that most people don't know who they are. That, like, the vast majority of people have absolutely no idea that the Flat Earth is still a thing. Yeah. They, they have okay. no kind of uh they have no sense of like uh humbleness or anything like they don't understand that they're they're not meaningful they're not important well yeah, it's not true today got yeah. phd my man it's it's not even a matter of humility they don't have a realistic assessment of just how completely irrelevant and meaningless they are they don't have an accurate picture of their own in, um, intellectual incompetence and profound ignorance. And so they think they're mm. important. And the people, you know, again, it's just, you know, delusional um, conspiracy, conspiracy theory um, thinking because there must be a conspiracy because they're so amazingly intelligent and mm. fabulously talented that they should be able to achieve anything. But instead, they're lucky if they can wipe their own ass. Um, and that, and you know, that gap between what they think should be happening and what is ha happening is just, you know, too broad to be explained by anything less than a global conspiracy that is centuries old. Right. Oh, glue. Uh, yeah. I mean, why on earth they fucking uh, they, they like you said i mean they are absolutely fucking they think that they're well, they think they're fucking woke don't they i mean they've woken up they think that the whole world is waking up we're getting bigger no 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 you're not getting bigger what it is is there's a thing called the internet which just so happens to have connected you fucking stupid idiots so now you've found one another and now you can make your dumbass videos so we can fucking laugh at them but look i mean uh, the, oh, fuck them! <laughs> I just fucking don't understand. It's still a joke. 
I'm still waiting to be woken up. They're not fucking for real, are they? Come on. Sound far away from your mic, monkey. You're really quiet, dude. Oh, that's, that's possibly... Good, then, I'm fucking shouting my fucking brains out here. Yeah? <laughs> he probably just doesn't want to break it. Yeah, not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Can you fast forward this stupid video, please? He's right, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, um, we could chipmunk him up a little bit when we kick back in. I mean, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of ones in the chat. How many does it take? It looks That's like a good the, point. Let's see. One vote is full, doesn't it? Oh, 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 oh! This gives me great pleasure. Mm -hmm. Yay! Bye, bye. <laughs>